Hello beautiful people, it's a girl Jeannie and it's Jeannie's signature. So today I'll be making a how to, I'll be showing you how to call it a mermaid skirt. So if this is what you're interested in, this is how it's going to be looking. It's just that my mannequin, this was not the size of my mannequin, so I couldn't wear it on the mannequin. And so I'll be uh, attaching this to a corset part, like the half length. So I just decided to make a video on the lower part and I'll be uploading that of the upper part later on so this tutorial uh, tutorial or this video is basically for the skirt part that will be joining to make it into a gown so i'm going to be making this of a sequence fabric and i already have my fabric unfold and then the first thing i will be doing now is to just take out my half length measurement and then measure the full length of the skirt alternatively you can just um subtract your half length from your full um yeah from your full length and then whatever is left is what will be used for the lower part because this is going to be attached to a half length to make it a gown so i believe you understand what i just explained so the next thing i'll be marking now is my waist to hip measurement so whatever your hip, waist to hip measurement you kindly mark or indicate on that so for my client a waist to hip measurement is 10 inches and then for the knee waist to knee what i'll be marking the actual waist to knee measurement is supposed to be 21 inches but i made it 19 inches but later on i'll be making it 18 inches so as we progress i will be explaining all that in details so now i just marked my waist to my knee and what i marked there is 19 inches and then for my waist to hip i marked 10 inches so this fabric is kind of um very very uh shaky 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 it keeps moving here and there so that is why i'm just trying to make use of this ruler just to see if i can highlight the lines very well so i'll be making use of my free hand mostly in this tutorial so kindly take note so now the next thing i'll be marking now is my waist measurement divided by four and then i'll be adding just one inch sewing allowance you know this is a stretchy fabric so you may decide not to even add any um, allowance, but I just decided to add one inch extra as my sewing allowance. So that's what I'm not going to be making any that on this um, skirt because it's a stretchy fabric. It's going to be giving you a fitting naturally. So there's really no point in adding that. But if you want to add your that, like some people are... Uh, they are just uh, glued to having that in the clothes. If you don't put that, they will be like as if something happened. But I don't think it's really necessary. So divide your hip measurement by four and then you have two inches as well. So that is what I've done. Now I'm going to my knee line. So for the knee line, we have various ways in which you can achieve this. I'll be, show you, I'll be telling you different ways. The first way is subtract like four between four to six inches from your hip measurement and then divide by four whatever you have you mark on your knee line or you can just decide to take the same measurement down to your knee line and then just don't add the sewing allowance that you added and you will also be getting the actual thing to get it curvy so what i did was that i subtracted five inches from my hip measurement divided by four and then marked and then i added one inch seam allowance so that is what i did so i'm basically going to be connecting from my waist to my hip and then to my from my hip to my knee so i'm just trying to be careful because of the nature of the fabric that i told you so you just have to be careful so that is what I just did from my waist to my hip and then from the hip to the knee. And so in order to determine what you have unfold, this is entirely dependent on the uh, amount of fabric that you have. So you need to check that very well before folding your fabric. So for this lower part, I know what I have left and that is why I can fold as many as I want. So right there on the knee line, I'll be going up by half an inch or one inch from your knee line you know i marked 19 inches from my shoulder to my waist and uh, shoulder to hip i wear your um, <laughs> knee so i went up by half an inch from there and then i capped it out so this is just to make the v shape a little bit um i don't know how to explain it but when i cut it out now you would understand 
what I was trying to drive at. Because if I had marked it exactly under 19 inches, it wouldn't give me that shape that I would want. So I went up by half an inch. But you can go up by one inch as well. And you still arrive at the same destination. So you can see, as I'm cutting this out, it's giving me the look that I want it to give me. So let me remove this and then you see. So you can see how it came out to be. You can see that it's looking like a real mermaid skirt. So this is the front part. So the next thing we're going to be doing now is to fold the fabric again and then cut out the back. So I folded my fabric here and then I placed the front on the back. So this is what we have. And so when placing this on the back, just ensure that you have some spaces in the front and then at the lower part because this is where we'll be. So for that space where I just took, I measured like 10 inches right there. You can go more than that. So this is dependent on the volume of fabric you have at hand. So I went in by 10 inches for there. And then for this lower part where the tail is going to be highlighted, I came down by 15 inches. So that is what I have there because my client wanted a tail to be sweeping the whole floor. <laughs> So that is what I have there. And so the sides are going to remain the same. Yeah. So the only difference we're going to be adjusting will be the zipper area. That is the middle part of the back. So that is why it's folded this way. So the next thing I will be doing now is to just measure out my zipper allowance. I'm making use of one inch zip allowance. Don't mind the way my voice is coming out because I have cold. Yeah. So just measure one inch all the way to my knee line. So you need to take cognizance of your knee point because that is very essential when you're cutting a mermaid skirt. So I'm just going to be stopping around the knee area. And so just trying to draw this line so that it will be quite visible. Let me just shift this a little so that you would see it very well. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now. From that knee area, I'll just be drawing a straight line to meet the edge of the clothes. I'm not going to be making use of my ruler because it's not just going to work. So let me just freehand it. So just draw it like so. And then let me shift it up so that you will see what I'll be doing at the lower part as well. I already have a tutorial on how to cut this, but I had it like a year ago or thereabouts. So I just felt like, okay, let me just... Um, show this again so that you would understand what i'm doing so let me adjust the camera so that you would catch what the gist um given so now from the thick of the fold on the uh, for the front piece you're going to be seeing how we're carving that out to meet the length of the skirt it's quite easy so this is like the easiest method of cutting a cut together till don't worry subsequently i'll be making a tutorial on how to cut um a detachable one like separate one not like cut together like this so this is how you go about it and then you connect so we're basically through with the front and the back pieces so the next thing I'm doing now is just to cut out on those lines that I drew and voila we are through with our tutorial for today so this is like a quick and short tutorial So I'll be uploading the upper part very soon. So I'm cutting the back. And then when you get to the knee, you're going like so a little because of the zipper allowance. So you need to be careful when shifting these, especially we that have, we don't have a big table, and I didn't want to cut this on the floor. 
I just wanted to use the table. And so I'll be cutting the zip allowance out like so as well. So I've cut that out and then I'll be shifting this a little bit so that I'll be able to cut this side as well. I'm so sorry. So if you enjoyed watching this tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like and don't forget to share. And kindly watch out for the upper part of this tutorial. It's going to be engaging, it's going to be interesting, and it's going to be detailed. So I've cut this out and then we have our mermaid skirt ready. I'm just trying to notch the zipper area. I'm not going to be showing the sewing process because like I said, I joined these to an affluent, so that's why I would not be showing that. So you can see the way the mermaid skirt came out came out very very beautiful and it's quite full so it's going to be real mermaid <laughs> yeah this is like the easiest method and it saves you a whole lot of fabric instead of um the slash and spread method yeah this is quite um better i don't know to me i love this because it's just like a straight cut and then you're good to go so this is the end of the tutorial and like i said kind of watch out for the upper parts that is the full part thank you all and god bless you all see you all in my next tutorial bye